Hey, hey, holy mackerel, no doubt about it, the Cubs are on their way! Hey, 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 come on out! Hello, and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to Graceland Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois. So we have come here to Graceland Cemetery today to see the grave of Ernie Banks. Mr. Cub. Ernie Banks was a Major League Baseball player who spent his entire Major League Baseball career playing for the Chicago Cubs. He began his career earlier on playing for the Kansas City Monarchs in Kansas City, a Negro League team. In 1951, he was drafted into the Army and served during, in Germany during the Korean War. After his service, he returned to the Kansas City Monarchs. In 1953, his contract was sold from the Monarchs to the Chicago Cubs. He was the first African American to play for the Chicago Cubs. He was the National League Most Valuable Player in 1958 and 59, and was a Gold Glove winner in 1960. He is regarded by many in baseball as one of the best shortstops in the history of Major League Baseball. From 1967 until 1971, he was a player coach for the Cubs, and on May 12, 1970, he hit his 500th home run. Jarvis fires away. That's a fly ball deep the left. Back, back. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey. He was voted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1977 during his first year of eligibility. And his number, number 14, was the very first number retired by the Chicago Cubs in 1982. In 2013, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. We have the grave site of the great baseball player, Ernie Banks, whose nickname was Mr. Cub because he played his entire Major League Baseball career for the Chicago Cubs. Now, he did some other professional baseball in the Negro Leagues before that with the Kansas City Monarchs, I believe, mainly. But his entire MLB career was with the Chicago Cubs. there of Ernie Banks, loving husband, father, and friend to all, 1931 to 2015. And on this other side, you see, this is Mr. Cub, 14-time All-Star, 512 home runs, two-time NL MVP, 2,528 games played. Inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame August 8, 1977. You see on the back, we have the bats. It is number 14. There's a quote there. It says, it's a great day for a ball game. Let's play two. He was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama on November 20th, 2013. I am curious. I mean, there's a Cubs hat, stocking hat laid on top of here. Okay, we have a it's a baseball glove with a baseball and granite, but somebody's placed a real baseball there as well. Put this back on here. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. 
Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit or you have a suggestion about some future video you would like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap. He'd always say, let's play too. Because one wasn't enough. And it's not enough for us either.